How to avoid burnout and stay motivated. Burnout is a term we have been hearing an awful lot in our times. Understandably, people are always complaining about feeling burnt out and unable to manage it. In this video, you will learn precisely what the phenomenon of burnout is and how to improve it. What is burnout? According to medical science, burnout is the severe and constant exhaustion caused as a result of large amounts of long-standing physical, mental, or emotional stress. We all have painfully busy lives filled with people we need to meet, pages we need to fill, and responsibilities we need to take care of. In times like those, we often tend to forget about ourselves. We start to put off self-care and personal time in which we are not actively working on anything. Although burnout has been around for a long time, we adults functioning in the post-pandemic world have seen an overwhelming quantity of pain and suffering in the past few years. We have been dealing with all that plus the added burden of our own personal grief, anxiety, loneliness, or stress. It is only fair that after so much pain must come a period of rest and relaxation. Only it never does. Now that we have covered the basics, let us look at what causes this condition. Causes of burnout. Many things can create or exacerbate burnout. To understand them, let us divide them into three primary subdivisions. Work and finances, community, personal life. First, let's discuss the burnout related to work and finances. Heavy workload. We live in a capitalistic world and companies often seek to get the most amount of work from the least number of employees. This is especially seen in factories, skilled labor, and essential worker groups. It results in people being assigned long hours of tedious work for bare minimum rewards. Work-life balance. Most of us have a fractured way of thinking about work and never take time for ourselves. On top of that, when employees are home after work, they are bombarded with texts, emails, and calls from work. The consequence of this lack of balance is that our personal growth and interpersonal relationships suffer. Essentially, we cannot switch off work mode and shift to life mode, thus perpetually being stuck in a stressful work environment. No free time. People often work multiple jobs and are physically unable to take out some free time for leisurely activities or relaxation. There are no breaks, no vacation days, and absolutely no space for any hobby or other self-care activity. Other than these causes, we also have those related to the community. Lack of support systems. Many of us live alone or don't have a group of close family and friends who can support us in times of need. In these cases, you are bound to feel the effects of burnout sooner or later. We are social animals and we need a sense of belonging offered to us by being in a community of like-minded and caring people. Societal pressures. The list of goals to achieve before reaching a certain age is unending. Since childhood, we have been taught that life's purpose is to earn money, get married, have kids, grow old and die. Anyone who is not able to meet these expectations that society puts on them will face immense pressure and rejection from the community. This leads to a culture where people judge their success by what they have and not who they are as people. Information overload. Also called overexposure, this term means that you have so much information, news, events, global instability, political clashes, and more that your brain can physically not function at its best anymore. We are surrounded by an excess of stimuli and never get time to process any of them. And guess what happens to an overloaded brain? It burns out. Now, let us look at the causes of burnout related to personal issues. Psychological instability. Burnout is prevalent in those of us who have pre-existing psychological conditions like anxiety, depression, or stress related to trauma. Suppose we suffer from any mental illness or even disordered thinking patterns and we are never given a chance to treat them healthily. In that case, we get to a point when constantly feeling exhausted is the only thing we can do. Perfectionism and self-esteem Another personal thing that can cause us to burn out is our perfectionism. Often, perfectionism, wanting every little meticulous detail to be absolutely perfect, is rooted in low self-esteem issues. 
It is as if we're trying to prove something somehow, and we'll be hard on ourselves if we make even a single mistake. Sleep and dietary disturbances. If you are a person who does not or cannot prioritize their sleep and food intake, you are literally taking away your essential bodily functions, not maintaining a good sleep schedule and not eating nourishing healthy meals every day is a recipe for burnout. Signs of burnout Now that we have discussed some primary causes of burnout, we will briefly focus on the signs and symptoms that a person with burnout might experience. Chronic exhaustion, restlessness, forgetting things, difficulty to focus, frustration and resentment, detachment, isolation, loss of joy, decrease in sex drive, suicidal thoughts, physical health issues, mental health issues. The effects mentioned above are only a handful of the many signs found in a burnt out individual. We might also notice their personal relationships falling apart because they can no longer make or sustain connections with people. Moreover, there is a negative impact on work itself. When suffering from burnout after working too hard, people are not able to work, which leads to more stress and burnout. It becomes a vicious cycle that ends well for no one. How to manage and avoid burnout. Here comes the million dollar question that you have all been waiting for. Some helpful and realistic strategies to avoid getting to a stage of burnout, or if you're already there, how to manage it so it gets better. Number one, recalibrate your purpose. The first thing to do if you're dealing with burnout is to think about why you're working so hard in the first place. This will have two possible results. Either you will realize that your efforts are too much compared to what is expected of you, or you may decide to stop working so hard. In the other case, you will feel a renewed sense of self and remember that your work means more than what you can see at the moment and you will develop a more untroubled sense of your profession. As mentioned above, recalibrating your purpose in your professional life is the best way to figure out the root of your problem. Whether it is due to your work being too demanding or just a dissatisfied mind, you need to remember why you are doing what you chose to do. In any case, you will reach a conclusion that will help you come to terms with the reality of your specific situation. Number two, analyze your job and plan accordingly. For this step, you will need to study your job description and the duties assigned to you. Think carefully about what tasks only you can do and are absolutely necessary for your particular position. Whatever work you find yourself doing daily that does not fit into this category, you may delegate it or stop doing it altogether. Online resources are available to get your job analysis done for you, or you can even do it yourself. Basically, you just need to understand the ins and outs of your job and start planning your daily tasks accordingly. Number 3. Take control at work. Think about your workspace and whether your professional life is affecting your peace of mind. Take things into your own hands and discuss with your superiors how they can improve your working conditions. If they are unhelpful and do not want to fix anything, you may even want to find a different job, even though that's easier said than done. Furthermore, suppose you think your coworkers are experiencing similar situations in that case, you may want to discuss this with them and band together to encourage your superiors to cultivate a healthier work environment for all of you. Another thing to remember when we think about taking control at work is to take regular breaks. You may start to develop the habit of getting up and walking around a bit to stretch your muscles and relax your mind for a little while. Then you can come back to your desk and continue your tasks. Number 4. Exercise Speaking of stretching our muscles, most of us have desk jobs that involve long sitting hours and no extra time for exercise. However, this is something that you would personally need to work on. You must take time every day, or at least twice or thrice a week, to just work out. We understand that it sounds tedious and exhausting. Still, exercise helps release happy chemicals into your body, which keeps us more energetic and up for any challenges we face, professionally or personally. Number 5. Manage your mental health Generally, prioritizing your mental health and working on pre-existing psychological issues is always good. 
In terms of burnout though, it becomes absolutely vital. As long as you have chronic, deep-seated issues that you have not addressed, your burnout symptoms will keep worsening. Fortunately, there are countless resources available in our world today, including online options that can help you. Number six, invest in connections. For people struggling with burnout or any other mental stress, it is of the utmost importance to have someone to talk to. We all can spend the most draining day at work, but coming home and talking to a loved one, sharing everything with them is bound to make us feel better. We have to start to prioritize and give due time to social connections. Humans need other humans. We have always survived in tribes. If you have been working hard enough to experience burnout, there are high chances that your loved ones have felt neglected by you. Go talk to them today and see how both of you get your burdens alleviated. To finish this video, I would like to reiterate that burnout results from overworking. You must find a way to fix your work-life balance before you start getting more physically sick. There are tons of ways you can incorporate healing and relaxation into your life, many of which I have described above. Feel free to choose whichever strategy works best for you. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!